Hello, IED. Uh, we're going to be going over problem 1.4.1, suite improvement, specifically the organizing and preparing part. That's going to be the plan section that I'm going to be grading for you guys. Remember, this is going to be split into four sections. Uh, the first one was initiate, and this one is going to be planning. So what you want to do is the first thing, we're going to make sure that we get split into three to four uh, classmates per group. Uh, that's especially important because if there is quarantines that happen this year, uh, you will be able to work at home with other classmates and you're not just going to completely have nothing to do and be like, oh crap, uh, my other classmate's gone, so I, I'm all by myself on this one. That being said, uh, make sure that all of the information that you're doing is being gathered individually, because the worst thing that can happen is you be working on this project, and one person has all of the information, all the documentation, and all the writing, and then they don't show up anymore for two weeks because they're quarantined. When that happens, you're still responsible for your project, and they're still responsible for their project, even at home. They should be able to communicate communicate with you or get you that information or something. But if you're doing nothing during that time, then that's you can't make that time up. I'm not going to just give you guys some extra time for this. You've got to learn to work with the deadline. So um, you're also going to uh, develop a design brief uh, to identify stakeholders and clearly understand the problem to be solved, design criteria, and cr constraints. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the design brief template and you're going to notice something very different compared to all of the other times. The other times I've already had stuff filled out for you. This time, everything is for you to fill out. So you're going to describe who the client is and the target consumer and who the designers are in your problem statement. We're going to list all the criteria and the constraints. All of these should kind of be uh, solidified in the initial or the, the initiate part. So you should already have all of this information. You're just going to be taking this information and putting it into one specific area so that, you know, if somebody were to come in, say like a, if this was a company, if a manager or something, be like, hey, what are you guys working on? You can hand them the design brief and they look at it and they'd be like, oh, okay, you don't have to sit there and explain to them for like five or 15 minutes what you're doing. All right, so um, they recommend that you do something to start generating concepts for the cupcake design called brain writing. And they're like, brainstorming or brain writing is a brainstorming technique where all the participants have an equal opportunity to share ideas through writing. So last time, whenever we've done brainstorming, usually you've, you've been doing it on an individual basis. So the, you know, the way that you could do brain writing instead of brainstorming specifically is you can uh, form a circle. We're already in circles. And each team member obtains five to ten index cards. And you're going to individually sketch them, and then you're going to pass them around. And as you pass them around, uh, you can either... So, like, there's a couple of options that you can do. It says you can do one of three things. You can use the other's idea to stimulate a new idea to write on another index card. You can use the other person's idea to think of a modification or annotate directly to the card, or you can just pass the card to the next person. So you can make modifications to the idea that somebody had already done. So you can kind of springboard off of the, the person next to you. And kind of like hitting those ideas is usually really helpful, and it helps to develop ideas further. It says, you know, continue generating ideas until you uh, until I call time. It, that's going to be five minutes for us. If you're at home, if you're brainstorming at home, you don't have, obviously you're not going to pass it to yourself. Just do a regular brainstorming session and try to email those results to your team so that they can actually look at it and give you feedback on it. Because um, the next thing they want to do is they want you to actually participate in feedback. So, you know, just because you're at home doesn't mean that you cannot participate in this. In fact, this is one of the projects where you can participate a great deal because the, the design is completely open and up for grabs. As long as it can hold the cupcakes and the muffins, you're, you're good to go. All right, so they want you to document this stuff in your engineering notebook and make sure that you review the checklist. They said that on the last one, too. Uh, they want you guys to pick at least two ideas that resulted from the peer discussion that you're interested in developing further, and then define those project tasks that need to be accomplished to successfully complete the project. So you need to, at this point, need to have at least two of the different ideas. Um, and ideally, you'll do a decision matrix, and you'll try to figure out which one of those you want to develop on further. That's going to be only the actual carrying out the part.
So uh, here is the section that we're going to be doing on the planning. So what am I going to need from you guys? Uh, I'm going to need some evidence that you actually generated some concepts and either having that in your engineering notebook or pictures of the note cards or, or something. I'm going to need some information on this. I'm also going to need the design brief that you guys are creating. So I'm going to need this design brief template and I'm going to need some evidence that you have brainstormed. I'm going to need both of those things in order to grade you appropriately for this section. You guys have a great day and I'll talk at you later.